Hello YouTube and Tuber and fellow prop maker. Today's video will be all about how to create the dragon bone texture with some washes and a bit of patience. So as you can see this is uh, in an example on my current project for DragonCon and it's only one wash and paint uh, layers you get a pretty good example on the brace I did earlier there's like uh, four washes and painting on this one and we're gonna start with the first one basically the technique you're gonna repeat over and over to just reach the that bone like texture we get here that's not done yet there you go so first of all We're gonna start by highlighting all the decrease of places where you can have like dirt build up and pretty much all dark area. So I start with the kind of brownish color. That I've mixed up earlier. I got a lot of it because I got a lot of pieces to do. And that mix is going to be useful for all the other color because everything is going to be based on this one. So I'm not that careful on painting all the scales. You'll see why afterward. Just all carefully just filling up the, the creases. So you won't have to add up too much afterward. Sorry for that. Cat chaos. Hopefully we won't have any other. Interruption. Those just before uh, someone asked, I've made a base coat on the foam that I've kind of cook. Actually, I use my soldering iron to seal off 
the top layer of the foam so it won't have any bubbles or uh, the foam is going to be soaking up a lot of paint so basically it's surface paint don't forget the edges Go. If you're afraid that, like, you have a big surface to do, and you're afraid that your paint's gonna dry, don't worry about it. It's gonna be fine with the technique I'm gonna show you. And by the way, this is acrylic. I use oh, there you go. I use basic uh, from uh, you can find it at Michael pretty easy it's six dollar for uh, the small one like this one or the big one for 11 or 12 if I remember right and I except for like when I do a lot of big surface with the same color I usually use like basic color, like red, blue, yellow, black, and white. Like I do all my uh, mix by myself. Thanks to my wife that he taught me how to uh, do all those mixes. And here you go. So. All your lines, all your creases have been filled up with uh, the paint. And time for some, so for some washes. So take a sponge, basic sponge, you put some water on, and basically run down with the sponge and some water. The more water, the better the result, but you don't want to have too much because if you put too much, uh, that kind of acrylic is going to be uh, too damp and start to peel off. So, you know, so all of the spot that you want to highlight, just going to wash like. Take a towel and just remove all the surplus paint like this. Pass some more with the water if you want to make it a little bit lighter. And keep in mind that if you want to have like all those creases, keeping the the paint and stuff go the same way as the crease and the the same way as the creases, because if you go the other way, you're gonna move, move all the paint inside. So just swipe the excess paint. Have like a little bit more highlights on there. Move the surface paint on 
the sponge, get more water, paint here, and more water here. Don't forget all the edges of the, the armor is going to be more dirty because this is the part where all the dirt is going to clumps up and accumulates. So, here it is. This is one simple wash on it. And it's gonna resemble after a couple of washes, uh, let it dry between uh, one and the other. So you ain't gonna move fresh uh, paint, you just put it on and that's about it. So let it dry, start over with a darker color, lighter color. Depend on what's the result you want to achieve. For me, uh, I'm gonna start the other step on darker color. Give it its nice, like dirty and uh, dirty look. And at the end, I'm gonna highlight all the the scale over there with some lighter paint. As you can see over there, to even more highlight the, the detail. So that's about it. So see you next video, I guess. So if you have question, don't hesitate to ask for it. I'm open to question. I'm open to. Uh, I'm gonna answer uh, for sure if I actually have uh, an answer for you. So, it's out.